My name is Kaylin. My name is Kelsey. And I'm Kristen. And welcome to Superstar Central. This was the summer of Elvis for us, like a lot of you. And it all started when we saw the trailer for the new Elvis movie with Tom Hanks and Austin, Austin Butler. Butler! Woo! These, these are the movie posters from the Elvis movie, yes, guys. We from have them Warner here. Brothers. We have them here in the set. We have a lot of uh, Elvis stuff here as you can see we're going to show some of it more in detail later but yeah we are so excited to be talking about elvis today and like i said it all started when we saw the trailer i said guys you'll never guess who's playing elvis we have seen him in so many disney and nickelodeon things and <laughs> once i showed them they didn't even recognize him guys yeah she said that he played this particular elvis actor played in zoe 101 and i was thinking okay it's got to be austin butler but this doesn't even look like austin butler to me i thought <laughs> Kaylin was lying when she told oh us that it gosh. was Austin Butler. I was like, there's no way. It can't be. There's Guys, no way. It's because he looked so much like Elvis. He did such a great yeah. job. Yeah. I had been used to seeing him with the blonde hair, and he had been growing it out for a while this past couple years. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw him with the black hair, he really did look like Elvis. I was like, wow, he's going to do amazing, and this trailer looks amazing. So flash forward a couple months later, we get invited by Warner Brothers for an early screening to see this movie and to promote promote the movie with some of the merch. They sent us some of the merch that we got to give away to you guys at our Elvis themed concert, which was also super, super fun. So yeah. much fun. And I remember at that movie premiere, we were kind of nervous to watch this movie because we didn't know really what to expect. But once we got in our seats, settled down in this at this Dallas premiere, we loved the movie. The director, Baz Luhrmann, did such a great job by captivating your attention. I didn't even realize I was in a movie theater it was that good <laughs> it was the type of directing where you didn't get to think a lot like it was just constant <laughs> action action awesome music can we just talk about the opening sequence oh for a second please <laughs> suspicious minds intro vocal intro when we heard that we literally like I Chills. I was in the theater I'm like this and then Kelsey went beautiful I audibly <laughs> said beautiful because we all so got good. so many like, chills what better way to start off a movie than that the most dramatic <laughs> eerie feeling like it sets you up perfectly like i was like ready for anything yeah, yeah. it set up the movie perfectly so <laughs> and the scene that really hooked me in was when elvis was first performing at the louisiana hayride and he's you know doing his thing and then all of a sudden the girls start screaming and they keep coming up one by one screaming yeah the whole theater was cracking up including us that was like the best scene. I loved that scene. He did the wiggle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did the wiggle. Do the wiggle. Yeah. The yeah. first couple minutes of the movie, like the first 30 minutes is just nonstop. Like you don't think at all. And it's amazing. So Baz Luhrmann and everyone in the movie did a great job. Everyone was raving about it. And the funny thing is, is that we saw the movie two weeks before everyone else did. Yes. And so after we saw it, we were a little bit sad, of course, because the ending, spoiler alert, Elvis ends up dying yeah. and it's kind of sad, but oh. they do it justice. Of course, it's amazing. But after we saw it, we were sad. And it was just a thing that we had because we had seen this movie together. It was our personal kind of experience we had. And, and so two weeks later when the movie came out, everyone was raving about it. And we were like, this is exactly how we felt when it I came know. out. <laughs> like we were like silently like talking about it with each other because we couldn't share it with the world yet. Yeah. Let me tell you, those two weeks where we had to keep quiet about it. <laughs> I was like, like fumming at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like I wanted to. We even posted a video with Doja Cat's song yes. that she wrote for the movie Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. And no one knew the song at the time. They were like, oh, what is this? Doja Cat has a new song. Yeah. And then after it, they were like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time I ever heard an Elvis Presley song was actually in the Disney movie Lilo and Stitch. Yes. Growing up, we loved yeah. watching that movie because, you know, Lilo and Nani, they're such an iconic sister duo because we could relate to them as sisters. Yes, the sister. And I remember hearing songs like Devil in Disguise and obviously... So many others. Burning yeah, Love. On you. Yes, so many. Iconic ones. And yeah. also, I remember when Lilo held up that picture of Elvis in the in the movie. Yeah, I it was, was an like, actual picture of Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> like, that was the first thing I ever saw yeah. of Elvis' That was the first face. time And, like, ever. I never forgot it for some yeah. reason in my childhood. <laughs> so, at this point in time, we have seen the movie now. We're in awe of Austin and the amazing job he did. And at the time, we didn't realize, but he, they literally did see, like, side-by-side -side performances of Austin and Elvis. Nice. And, and Austin did exactly what Elvis did. It's incredibly cool to see the 
accuracy that Austin did. Yes, he replicated yeah. the same facial movements, yeah. the same so, blinking even. Yeah. So, so at seat. this point, we are in awe of Elvis and we're like, guys, we need to watch some of Elvis Presley's movies <laughs> we need to watch they, actual elvis's elvis movies Presley. now and so we were raving about it we we're like which one should we watch first and our dad actually recommended that we watch this one first and it was blue, blue hawaii, hawaii. <laughs> He's like, guys, this is a really fun one. I, I, I've heard good things about it. We should watch it. And so we all watched it together as a family. Absolutely loved it. It was yes. such a lighthearted <laughs> thing with music. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And, you know, a lot of people have mixed reviews on the Elvis movies. They say they're, you know, D-list movies. They weren't that good. But we love the Elvis movies because they have Elvis in them. Yeah. And you get to hear him sing. And they're just so, they're such feel-good movies. They're amazing. <laughs> and as musicians, it was just so amazing to see a guy who was both a musician and a Hollywood movie star. That's yeah, like yeah. rare, you know, to find that the true enthusiasm that Elvis had both on screen and with his music. Yes. And he made how many movies, Kristen? Do y'all want to comment in the chat? <laughs> yes. Because well, I, I know the make, answer. Make your guesses right now I definitely in the comments. didn't have to Google it. I know what it is. <laughs> um, it's a lot. All right. All right. It's so a lot. Was it... 13, 3, or 31? <laughs> it was. I like that answer. multiple choice. Yes, multiple choice. It was 31. It was he 31. He made 31 movies. Yeah. Like, how incredible is that? Yeah, and I remember the day that we watched Blue Hawaii. Immediately the, the next day, we couldn't get enough. So we immediately watched Viva Las Vegas. And after that, still wasn't enough. So we watched King Creole, <laughs> Ooh, which yeah. is one of my favorites still oh, yes. to this day. Oh, yes. So oh, yeah. Top, top three Elvis movies. Yeah. That's and the then, three. you know, soon followed Jailhouse Rock. Yes. And so many others. G.I. Blues reminds me of your show. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I love it. this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and we just, the list just keep, kept going on. We watched so many Elvis movies because we just we were obsessed with the funness and the, the music elements that these movies had. And yeah. seeing his actual face on screen, like, that's a lot. And it, yeah. and it yeah. meant a lot to everyone at the time, even. Our, our Mima, who is our mother's mother yes she was alive and she's still alive but <laughs> she was alive when the actual movies were coming out yes. and she took her family including our mom to see some of those movies as yes. they were coming out and she goes yeah it didn't really matter what the plot was we just saw every single one yes. of them because he was in them. Elvis was in them. she really likes love me tender which is a great one I think that was actually his first movie appearance ever and I think it's so it's actually really sad the ending but... oh yeah that ending <laughs> yeah, they, they, didn't... Didn't... <laughs> they didn't have to Clint. go there oh my god they gosh. didn't have to do that Clint. Yeah. But <laughs> so at this Girl, point, we have seen most of Elvis's movies and we have heard almost all of his songs. Yes. We actually went um, to a lake house trip and we, we did this game where we one by one would name Elvis songs. To it, see, went, see, it went to on see, for over 30 to minutes. To see how long we could go. We just kept naming them. It kept going. Because yeah, we love them all so much. And then we watched a bunch of documentaries on Elvis's real life and also... This epic movie about, you know, from the, the Vegas days, you know, with Pope Salad Annie. Oh, yes. The documentary. Yes. yes. The, All those the scenes yes. Vegas That's footage. very iconic. So iconic. Because yes. <laughs> you get to see him in the bell bottoms with the glasses and he does that, that lip thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have the glasses right and, he like, <laughs> and he falls out of his chair. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's very iconic. And getting to see that Elvis himself got nervous before every single show. That really was amazing to see that on camera. He's like, I hope I don't forget the words. Oh, yeah. Because as performers, like, that's something that's really cool is, is you know, at every show, a lot of people don't know this, but most performers get nervous at every show. Like, that's totally yes. normal. You're supposed to. And so that's why we created a saying that the three of us, in those moments of feeling nervousness and butterflies, that we could reflect upon. And we it goes, you put the butterflies in formation. Yes. yes. And so we have said this to each other so many times throughout our life because that is something that you, it just gives you strength when you hear it. And so that is what we say whenever we're nervous right before a show. And that goes for every single show. You can never escape truly that feeling of anxiety. <laughs> yes. Now, you guys, this next thing we're going to tell yes, you, I'm so excited. Said I'm so excited. It's leading up to something here. Yeah. <laughs> we we have a secret. So, we recently got the chance to visit the second most visited house in all of America, second to the White House, which is the place that Elvis lived. <laughs> Graceland. 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 <laughs> Guys, we got to visit Graceland. 
OMG. We went there. OMG. And let me oh, tell you. Oh, the stories we have. We're about to tell you guys. There are a lot so happened. Many. And let me t- we're about <gasps> to spill the tea. Like the tea. Like get ready. Get ready to sip it and spill it. Because it's, it's happening. Yeah. And when we planned this trip, we were like, okay, let's just go. We won't say anything about who we are. Yeah. Like the K3 Sisters band. Like we're just going to go and be normal girls. Yes. Like we're just going to have fun. Yeah. We're just going to like, we, you know. Just out the stuff. We, like we just low, like chill. Like down low. We literally yes. said to each other, we're going to keep it on the down low. We're just going to go and uh, yeah, not we, tell anyone. We're we the K3 Sisters we made band. You know? That yeah. we wouldn't. We try to really keep it on the DL. But, but, what, ends up, but what ends up happening? So right as our tour guide is escorting us through the main lobby, we head out to the bus to head to Graceland, the, house. the drive, the house. the house. And the lady at the check-in bus goes, are you three in a girl band? Because if not, you really look like it. If not, you should start a girl and band. And immediately we're like, our cover has been blown. Yeah, oh my we, gosh. We're like, in that moment, we thought, well, we could lie and say we're not. I know. We had s- sister telepathy and we were like yeah. communicating through body language going, should we lie? Like, should we? Oops. But then we just... Didn't have it in we our We didn't want to lie. We're like, we, we can actually, lie to we actually, actually are. And she goes, I knew it. I knew you guys were. <laughs> and then our tour guide, he was really great, by the way. Shout mm-hmm. out. He was really great. He came and he was like, wait, you guys are musicians? He's like, I am too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was then, like this thing. Like, and it was like a great moment. We were like, yeah. And then he found our TikTok account and found out that his sister watches us. And so he knew who we were and he knew yeah. that we made videos. Because my sister's like, going to freak out when I show her this, like, that I you guys actually, are here. Yeah, I actually know you guys. We we're like, oh, well, yeah. nice to meet you. <laughs> it was a nice surprise. Yes, yeah, very nice man, surprise. For us and, and them. <laughs> Let me tell you, we were actually pretty nervous visiting Graceland for the first time because... You know, it's visiting someone that you look up to. It's visiting their house. And it's kind of like this eerie, haunting feeling because you know they're not here anymore. And it's just, it's so crazy. And before we uh, visited Graceland, growing up, we watched this U2 Rattle and Hum documentary, which is one of our favorite live albums. Yes, U2 is the Irish band that we love. And in their U2 Rattle and Hum documentary, they visit Graceland. Yeah. And so we had seen it, obviously, before we went, and we were seeing their emotions and processing it. And their drummer, Larry, he was very nervous to go because he said that, you know, Elvis was buried there and that he didn't want to see the grave. But I was also very nervous, but yeah. also excited. They, so, you know what? They were so nervous, and I was like, I'm not nervous. <laughs> yeah, right. But guys, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't nervous. No, you okay. must have been. I was actually very excited because I had seen, like, so many people say how cool it was getting to see where Elvis yeah. actually stayed and stuff. And let me tell you, it was very cool. It As was. we were driving up oh the driveway, gosh. seeing the gates open. When I saw the house, my nerves immediately went away. I was like, okay, we're here. And I almost got kind of teary-eyed. It was a very strange feeling, but... It was so surreal. We kept using that word over and over. It was surreal being yeah. there. Yes. And I'll never forget pulling up at, at Graceland. And when we got out and we were just looking at the house, I felt like I was in a dream. Like I almost yes. had to pinch myself. And the first thing you do when you walk in and you, you pass that front door, you get this feeling of astonishment and bewilderment almost but in a positive way and you're processing it and you're like i am standing yeah. where he lived let me just say before <laughs> that even happened Outside. after after the the word got out that we were in a band you know stuff was a little bit different for us and uh they the the tour guy kind of let us see some stuff that other people there don't get to see so before we even went in the house we actually got to see the garage yes we saw in the garage it's this really cool thing that they have they had refurbished elvis wanted it to be this apartment thing and the cars didn't stay in there it was yeah. like an ac thing totally cool couches were everywhere you saw pictures of elvis you even saw some of his memorabilia there you saw his yes. glasses in there and like so many other things even mm-hmm. the gun that he held yes on in stage his, on in on his stage like and so artifacts. that was actually the first thing we did. And I was like, holy crap, this yeah. is and amazing. I'm pretty sure Kaylin, like we were walking outside and Kaylin like stepped like one foot on the grass or something. No, no, this was because we were <laughs> we were freaking out because we wanted, we had to get a picture in front of the house. Yeah. And like, we didn't want to miss it because we were already going in the front door. And I was like, wait, let's go take a picture in front of the house. And so we're walking on the grass and they're like, no, running on the grass. <laughs> Like, get off the grass. And I was like, like, sorry. We were like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> we were like, we got to yeah. seize the day. I felt like in Princess Diaries when they're like, get off the grass. And she's like, <laughs> they 
like yeah yeah pro tip if you see something that you really like get a picture with it if you can because you might not get to again we got we got so the we, picture we were stressing out yes. we were like we need this. the pictures turn out yes. amazing and um, and we got yes. a lot of pictures inside graceland too there were so many epic rooms in elvis's house because he liked to decorate his house yeah, and yeah. we took pictures in pretty much every single room and a lot of the rooms were really trippy because there were mirrors everywhere and it was so disorienting at times <laughs> i remember our tour guide was like okay now this uh staircase that you're about to walk down it's a little bit trippy so you know look down don't look up <laughs> so we get there and there, like, are, yeah, right. there are mirrors on the ceiling and yeah. we can barely keep our balance we're looking back my mom's like look back so i look up and it's like this weird picture it of me was, looking up it, it was, was like crazy. having a fun house like walkway yes, it in your house like yes you, you it, were so disoriented it reminded me of the scene in the new elvis movie where they're in that fun house in the mirror maze. oh yeah yes i, I was like yeah. was inspired i was like by that. this is where they got the inspo from elvis's house yeah Duh. and, and <laughs> most of the rooms there were roped off you couldn't like step on the carpet because mm-hmm. they didn't want it to get dirty and for other reasons as well so that also added to the mystique of the whole house so for me Walking in, it almost didn't feel like a house. It felt like Disney World. You yes. know, it had that feeling of like the Swiss Family Robinson treehouse, you know, where like <laughs> yes. a lot of the places you can't actually go. It was like, I want to go to there. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I couldn't go, but I'm seeing it anyway. And so the whole house uh, was very majestic. It felt like every room had its own theme. Yes. Yes. I mean, when you walk into the living room, you see this stained glass architecture of peacocks. Yes. And then you see the iconic and you dining have peacock room feathers table. behind you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? Beautiful. <laughs> I mean, and each room i mean the jungle room like yes yeah. elvis then, was so extravagant with that and, and one room wait. had three or four tvs and elvis yes. had heard that the president had four tvs and elvis went i want four tvs so, and he did that was actually one of my favorite rooms because everything was yellow and so i took a lot of pictures there i was hufflepuff like this power? is my hufflepuff vibe like elvis maybe he was hufflepuff maybe not <gasps> i don't know no. probably not i think he was probably a gryffindor he was a gryffindor yeah okay. i think we can all say he was a gryffindor <laughs> i mean that dude was brave <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> she's like i'm in his hand so, the whole time like it still hadn't fully sunken into me that where we were like was elvis's house until we're walking outside in the backyard beautiful backyard there are horses back there and we're walking back into this like back house where his dad's office was vernon's office and it looks so familiar and then we finally realize that this office is where elvis did one of his iconic interviews after he got back from germany he did an interview back there in memphis and man it was so cool seeing that and the room had not even been touched like it was like a snapshot in time that's how the whole house was and i was like oh my gosh that's where the iconic interview (laughs) happened and And then on the screen it showed elvis walking the same steps that we just walked which was from the house into the back office and in that moment we all just instinctively started screaming in three-part harmony yeah we have it on yeah, on a live clip. picture yes i have the clip yeah oh my gosh it sounds like it's a so car funny. horn here we go roll the clip <laughs> <laughs> do it again no, that's, that's too funny <laughs> oh Seriously. my gosh but literally like that's how the three of us are like whenever we're reacting to something like that's just how we are because we're sisters and like the people around us were like staring at us like they started laughing yeah so you know we're in hog heaven because this is a musician that we really look up to i mean he's the king of rock and roll for a reason we're freaking mm-hmm. out the whole yes. time uh and all that and so now we have headed into another room where not everyone gets to go yes. we are escorted back to this other room where we see the tour guide he is actually wearing gloves and we're like yeah. what is going on like is this like and some a science test i, was like, I didn't study for there's this there's like this tin container and he starts pulling out these drawers and there was so much elvis memorabilia and Even different things, things from his like mother and father his rings. personal rings and his one of his mother's necklaces and guys the thing that was the, so the room cool the room got very quiet when he pulled out this one drawer what did the drawer have in it? One of Elvis's belts, guys. That his iconic belts. On stage in the Vegas days. Like, this is one he yes. performed in. Like, it was around his waist. How do you keep your pants up so tight? It's incredible. Belt. Belt. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. for real, guys, I had to say so, that. <laughs> guys, in here, in this Elvis bag, we have the gloves yes. that we touched. 
the belt with. Yeah, they were like, okay, you get to hold the belt, but you have to wear gloves. The hand that shook the hand is right yes. here <laughs> of the belt of Elvis Presley. <laughs> These were the gloves that yes. we touched Elvis's belt with. And yeah. guys, the all of a sudden, you know, I'm there taking the pictures with the belt, like, huh, and then I'm putting it by my waist. <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, Kristen, being the superstar that she is, she takes the belt and does this, like, epic pose like that Elvis does. Yeah. He, she bends down to the ground. And I everyone in the room is like freaking yeah, out. Everyone's oh, our tour guide oh, as well. Oh, oh. Like, hey. Yeah, I had to do the Elvis epic. ninja karate pose. I had to do it. Yeah, it was an epic moment, and that was by far one of the most memorable parts. Oh yeah, of oh, yes. the whole experience. I mean, it was oh, so sweet so cool. and thrilling to me to hold something that he performed in. Like, what you wear on stage is like armor to performers. Like our suits is like armor same with makeup like Mm -hmm. and it it was just so amazing to feel that that sense of like strength that elvis had like from this belt it was incredible And after that we got to visit elvis's grave and see the eternal flame and it was just once again it was so surreal being there seeing that and it was once again just a very haunting feeling and then after that we actually got recognized by somebody there they were like you're the k3 sisters band so we took a picture with them we're like okay (laughs) this is this is cool she was asking if we were gonna play in graceland we're like no we're we're actually here just on the dl like low-key just just like we're visiting yeah but one day we'd love to play there because they have this new theater there as well yes in fact they have a whole new operation going which i believe opened in 2017 where again guys it's like Disney World. Yeah. They got legit. restaurants there. They have gift shops there, which, guys, we bought the pink Cadillac plushie yeah. there. You um, might have you hold it pink up? Cadillac. Yep. Do y'all see this? Do you see this? I saw this yep. and I was like, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what do I need to negotiate to get one of you to buy this for me? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, so that wasn't got a hard that. We also got this chocolate bar that yes. we have been waiting to eat. Yeah, we'll we've probably been waiting. Eat this. Yes, we at actually, the end of the video, we might crack it so, open. So, so that was to eat it. at our TikTok after party, which we do every Saturday after our show. The shirt this, is this, fluorescent. This the, the shirt that is fluorescent. That was what I showed. And oh yeah, you did. Yes, at the TikTok and, like, after party. Literally for the past couple of weeks, like we have been staring at this chocolate bar, so tempted we have. to eat it, but we're like, no. <laughs> so for the podcast. So, so back story. to what I was saying. Yes. We bought this at the gift shop. They also have tons of rooms, huge buildings where you can see all of the Elvis memorabilia. Yes. I'm talking about his cars, and yes, the pink Cadillac the pink was Cadillac. there. We, we got the a lot Cadillac. of pictures by the pink oh Cadillac. Gosh. Pink Cadillac. Of course we did. You know we had to. <laughs> yeah, that's the most iconic car like ever. Like um, when you write a song about a pink Cadillac, you put it in there. Like, yeah, everyone's gonna want to see it. <laughs> yeah. So and then it has the cars in it. It has the motorcycles of his in there it has the memorabilia i mean yeah. all of it and the we boats got, we got to walk through the lisa marie which is elvis's plane that was even featured in the new elvis movie as well that yeah. was so cool i mean that this plane. airplane had gold lined sinks yeah it even yeah. had a gold like, sink guys. Had, he had this guy elvis like he had style the word to describe that plane was extra it was just no it so was cool. eleganto <laughs> elegant <laughs> how did i know you were gonna say that no that's my new guys, favorite <laughs> the moment that was so astonishing to me was when we walked into this room and boom, we see all of Elvis's jumpsuits that he wore in the Vegas days. Like literally like one of, on my shirt here. <laughs> ah, and it was so crazy to see how many there were. Lined up. And I mean, Glitter. these things are so oh heavy. These Blamed weighed 40, out. 50 pounds, some of them, lined with gems and marbles, rhinestones. It was insane. Like, he had a workout when he did this on stage. Like, no wonder why he was sweating so much. Yes. Like, it was yeah. that's a workout. There was, there was a wall of all of his records, like the gold, platinum. Like, all there was a yes. huge wall of them. It was insane. And that was almost the coolest part. But no, it was the jumpsuits. The, the walls jumpsuits, of jumpsuits, the guys. Fashion I mean, it was insanely cool to see it. Because like Kristen was saying earlier... We love wearing suits ourselves because we yeah. love, uh, you know, being classy on stage and just representing ourselves in a fun way and getting to perform in them. So it was a really cool thing to see. Kind of a thing that Elvis and us had in common, wearing yes. suits, jumpsuits. Yes, and I um, may or may not have recreated a picture that Austin Butler took in that same room. Oh, yeah. Um, I made sure to find the same jumpsuits that 
remember in the back, I was like, Mom, can you snap this picture? Try to, like, recreate it. And so I did that. You yeah. know I had to. <laughs> and, I mean, it was just so cool to go through these exhibits that have actual movie posters, the actual costumes, like, from the 68 comeback special. Oh, we took yes. a picture with that. I even saw the kid oh. Galahad robe. Oh, what? yes. I was flipping out. And then his Western outfit from Charo. Was yeah. so cool. Yeah. Oh my god. And all of his the movie. iconic jacket of and Mike from It Happened at the World's Fair. Yes. I took a picture yes. with that. Oh my gosh, all of the movie posters were just so pretty seeing them and in person. We yeah. Were just recognizing everything. It and was it like was... a whole other element that we got the fangirl over because we had seen all of his movies, guys. We made sure of it. Yes. <laughs> we had recognized like all of this yes, we went memorabilia educated. from the movies. The <laughs> outfits. The guitars even, like, nice. it was they, so cool. I mean, cool. guys, they even had the chairs in the iconic circle from the 68 comeback special. Yeah. They still had those. And they had the footage going. I was like, whoa. And yeah, and was like, sat in every once in a while we would ask, like, are these the actual chairs from the comeback special? And then our tour would be like, yes, they are. <laughs> guys, I have a <laughs> We would ask, like, like is this like, actually the I have this is but sad in this <laughs> chair. <laughs> we are, I have, actually have a confession. Anytime, like, we saw one of his outfits on display, like, for instance, the jumpsuits, we were like, this is how tall Elvis was. This would be like me looking up into his eyes. And yeah, so I actually was like filming. I was like, girls, like, let's see like the height difference. And it yeah, was crazy difference. to see. Like, Kaylin was actually kind of close to him. But even so, mm, Elvis no. was Kristen still was taller. way shorter than him. She was like, so, the height difference. I was looking right at him, like upwards. But I was like, I'm happy to look upwards. <laughs> another your another imaginary moment eyes. where I was so astonished was seeing his gold lame suit that's super iconic. And actually seeing on the knees of the suit, the cuff marks because we all know that Elvis used to slide down on his knees and do right. these epic moves so seeing that was like whoa okay Elvis definitely wore that and yes. those yes. knee scuffs were the mark that, to prove it that gold suit was made by an iconic fashion designer who made suits for famous people yes. at the time and that was one Elvis got and they were not happy whenever he <laughs> scuffed yeah. the knees he got really sweaty in it he, they, uh, our tour guide told us so he like didn't wear it that often so after. yeah we loved enjoying the Elvis things and being totally tourists ourselves and yes we bought the gift shop picture that they take of you at the beginning of the whole experience uh it's yes. not my favorite picture of us but we bought no it because i was like oh. we'll, we'll regret it if we don't buy it so <laughs> we bought we even bought that i'm glad we did you know yeah but so those were the main highlights from graceland yes it was amazing but i highly recommend you go if you're able because it's amazing yes i mean there's so many things to see yeah. there but or you can just rewatch this episode and picture it all in your head. And yeah, like, that's it'll be great. <laughs> maybe, yes. maybe some of the viewers watching, you have been to Graceland. Or maybe a family member has. Maybe you've even seen Elvis in the flesh live. Or you have a relative who has seen him perform live. Everyone's got a story with Elvis. Everyone has a story of how they met Elvis. Yeah, in fact, definitely comment down below. We'd love to know, when was the first time you discovered Elvis? Or maybe the first song that you heard of Elvis? Yeah. <laughs> We'd you love know, to know. Because for us, it was watching uh, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch and hearing his songs there. <laughs> yes. Um, but also, you. while we were in Memphis, the city where Elvis lived, um, we also got to visit Sun Studios. Dun, and let me tell dun, you, dun. this was also super surreal for us because like... Uh, we said earlier, we watched the YouTube Rattle and Hum special quite a bit. And when they visited Memphis and Graceland, they actually got to record some of their songs for their live album at Sun Studios. And so we've seen that footage of them at Sun Studios so many times. You know, Bono, Edge, Larry, and then Adam, the, the bassist. And yeah. it was so cool actually and, being there. And we had heard that they do tours of mm -hmm. that anyone can go and visit they do tours like every like hour or so and so we're like okay we have to go and check it out and when we get there it was like 30 minutes after the hour and like there was this huge buzz of people getting <laughs> off we were like oh my god we were like, so, this, we're, so, we were, like scared of germs we were like oh my gosh <laughs> I know people. I, like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean this the place is like kind of tiny like yeah, yeah. and so I was big. like and literally the dude holding the door open was the leader of the tour guide or he was the tour guide the leader of the tour and he was like right this way right this way and I, I swear he thought we were so, part of it so you went in with was it mom you and yeah. mom and I was like hey dude like what, what time is the next uh, tour and he goes oh it's gonna start in 30 minutes and I was like okay and so <laughs> okay. I was like okay so we bought the tickets we'll take it. I told they the gave girls. us a discount yeah we got yeah. a discount shout out to that guy <laughs> thank you for the discount um, we but went back 30 minutes yes, later. Yes, we went back and it was incredible. Yeah. Man, we got to walk the stairs 
and see the original entrance of the place. Like, you know the famous neon lights that say Sun Studios? Yeah. We saw yes. the OG. That's not and the guys, actual like, entrance anymore. Yes, it's, which is it's why we're saying that. non-operational anymore. Yes. The door you go in is a separate one. And it's now connected. This, you know, Sun Studios is where a lot of people from Memphis got their start. Like, B.B. King, Ike Turner, obviously Elvis, Presley. So many people got their start there. So to be there was really cool. And actually, they told us a story of how the first guitar distortion was created. Someone was getting there and they dropped their amp on like, the side of the road before they got there and so they they showed up and they tried to like put some tissue paper in there to like fit the amp back up and it created the first distorted effect ever yeah of rock and roll it was a really great fun fact and the tour guide lady there she was really great she was like telling us all these fun facts and like we were just eating it up because we're musicians ourselves and yeah. i was like johnny cash has been here you two has been here i want to yeah. know everything there is to know about sun studios and so then we go into the actual room that the uh musicians record all their stuff in like we said it was incredible to see because we had seen it in u2 rattle and home and now we're seeing it when sam phillips created this room apparently he and the woman actually Mm marion had built this room themselves like the tiles and everything and the ceiling literally had these specially planned out divots Mm -hmm. in the ceiling which allowed the sound to perfectly bounce around to get the perfect recording sound and seeing it was like you were in another planet it was really cool and knowing that this small-ish room that we were standing in so many of our iconic musical heroes had recorded there stood there and she even said where elvis stood when he when he did record there it was like elvis she was like Mr. Where you're standing is where Elvis st- stood to In record fact, the song. We we were actually the first people to watch. <laughs> actually, there were like some German people there. Like, do you remember? Yes. Yeah, they were up top. They're like, I can't. I'm not gonna imitate German. I cannot. But they were like speaking German. Like, I don't know if they spoke. I don't any think English. they understood. So I don't know if he knew. They Who didn't knows understand. if they understood what she said? He was just like. I know the look. On, yeah, the look on his face. Kind of, like he was like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, do you not care that you're standing where Elvis did to record all these songs? Like, and what's funny is that when we first walked into, into we that gravitated room, toward that spot. We somehow and wandered we, when there. When we first went in there, we took a picture right there, and then she told us later, and I was like, and it was funny. I can't believe we went there first. That <laughs> same spot was where Larry, the drummer for U2, set up his drum set. Oh yeah. And the same photo of Elvis was still yeah, there. Yeah, it looks the same. And like guys, the room had not been touched. Man. Like we were walking in the U2 Rattle and Hum documentary. I was like. I, ac- <laughs> I actually surprised myself once again, but I did like slightly start to tear up in just amazement that I was there because I was like, man, like as a musician, it just felt so cool to be in this, in this, it was actually a lot smaller than we thought, but yeah. to be there and just feel that feeling, like the That's energy so funny. in the room, like, you could feel it. Like you had an emotional experience, you did too. And I think dad did too. And I'm over here like, I'm not crying at all. <laughs> What's up? No. What's up with this? It wasn't like I Caitlin cried. Just like I steel. felt just this feeling. You guys I can't just, explain it. Like we all love Elvis equally, but up. like they just got emotional. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But I'm not getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was just so crazy to be there. And there were these three microphones. There was only one that she had, though, that she, the, in, the tour guide was holding. And she said, so this is one of the microphones that Elvis actually sang into when yes. recording she goes, she, goes, she goes she goes it doesn't work anymore it hasn't worked for years but this was the og mic that elvis did some of his first recording ever and she was here like, at Sun studios she was like now at the end of the tour if anyone wants to take a photo with it come on right up and uh, the first thing i thought to myself is can oh and she also said now when you take a photo with it Please do not um, kiss it or lick it. She goes, because some women get a little creative. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, was like, whoa. And so we're thinking, man, there's got to be so many germs on this mic. But so we were like, we got to be first. We got to be I was, first I to was touch like, this mic. I was like, you know what? I know the little voice in the back of my head is saying, don't do it, germs. Who knows how many thousands of people have touched this? I was like, you know what? <laughs> and so <laughs> I, I triumphed over that. That reminded me of like Freddie from iCarly. I would make those noises. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we took the pictures. Anyway, uh, yeah. So was, we did, in fact, we all pictures. have pictures cool. with the mic. Uh, we all, each individually took them. Kristen's is probably my favorite. Her oh, like, yeah. singing into hey, it. Hey, yours really is cool. amazing too, Kaylin. Well, yeah, yeah, they all turned out great. It, but. Get into it. You got to pose. Yeah. You know, you strike a pose. Yeah. Like you had and to. And like everyone was watching us and we're just like posing with the mic and I'm just like, we're hyping each other up. We're like, yeah, oh, yeah. Because yeah. 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 yeah, everyone's watching us. We're like, 
I know, like, when everyone's watching you, you just gotta yeah. own it. You gotta go for it. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm not holding back. <laughs> so yeah, it was a great experience getting to visit Sun Studios, where Elvis Presley himself had recorded a lot of his music. In fact, we got to hear some of the takes that had never been released to the public, too. Yes, that Sam they had. had private recordings of Elvis that he didn't release until years later. So we got to mm-hmm. listen to that in the studio and that yes. was again mesmerizing. And I remember also listening to an 18 year old Elvis when he, it was his first ever recording in Sun Studios, which was actually like a couple years before he went back there. Like, but I'm 18 his years voice old. His was right? so yeah. cute. Oh my and gosh. And by the way, guys, in case you didn't know, I'm going to clarify right now this poster right here is the one that we keep in our kitchen. All the time. We always yes. stare at it. Uh, 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 this is the picture, y'all. We, the we almost had it in my room. Almost Kelsey's room. And we're like, nope. We have to share it. We have to put it in the kitchen. Yes, yes it needs to go in a central fun location. Fact, yeah. Anytime I'm doing any baking, it's right by my kitchen mixer. And so anytime I'm baking, I'm just staring at Elvis. <laughs> Can't you imagine Kelsey in the kitchen going... <laughs> so, yeah. We, we have a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. We had a lot of fun going to Memphis. So glad we got to go. And... We love Elvis Presley now and yes. Um, yes. everything about him and Guys, it's just great. We, we seriously, though, have declared this summer as the summer of Elvis for a reason. And looking back, it was so fun getting to see the movie, you know, as a premiere before anyone. And and doing that concert where we uh, gave away some Elvis merch to you guys was really cool. And I'm glad we got to share yes. that merch with yes. you guys. Thank you again to Warner Brothers for working with us. It was amazing partnering with you. Yes, guys. Um, make sure to comment below what your favorite, or if you can't choose one, what your couple favorite Elvis songs are. We'd love to know. I or Elvis, or Elvis movies, if you have seen any. It's very hard to pick yes. a favorite. Yes. I totally agree. Very hard. <laughs> but yeah, guys. No matter where you are in this world, Elvis has affected so many generations, and he will continue to do so through his music and his movies that will live on forever. Yes, and final thing is he, thanks to his uh, partner slash manager, Colonel Tom Parker, he did the biggest live stream broadcast in history. Like over a billion people, I believe, uh, got to join yeah. And that has also inspired us to keep live streaming because we're also doing the same thing. We reach thousands of people every week on our TikTok and our YouTube. And so that's another cool thing that we, we have in common. We have with in common Elvis. that we strive to do is yeah. keep doing our live streams. Yes. Well, guys, we'll see you next time. <laughs> this has been Superstar Central. Bye. Bye. Bye.